Welcome back everyone to another NSG video. And this time I am actually needing, let me see if I can flip myself around because apparently I don't know how to do that. I am needing to figure out the layout of the base as this guy groans over here. And I know the area, by layout I mean the big circle. So I'm just going to grab all of this here. Uh, let's see, let's drop that up there, pop that down here. We're golden. So I need to know the diameter of pretty much what will soon be our circle. So let's see if I can actually, let me fly it. So as you can see here, I already started draining a little bit, but then I realized I need to know the diameter. So we're going to have a large circle going through and it's going to hit over here and round out over this way. So I'm thinking for the diameter, I need to get from this end to this end to figure it out. And the problem is I don't know what our exact center is, so I should, I guess just choose where the center point will be about so I could like judge from like let's say this is a curve and it wraps and starts curving this way and goes this away like in our circle might overlap over there I don't know but let's kind of get a row going and kind of choose center point go all the way over with the diameter and the builder circle out. I have finished making the circle. Now it took a while. Now it took longer than I thought it was gonna take. It took a few days actually, and I was getting aggravated and getting off. But I found some little uh, plugin, or not plugin, mod, uh, client side that I can add, where I made in a single player world uh, the circle with world edit, and then, which ended up being 355 watt uh, diameter by the way, and, from 357 I don't remember if I told y'all it was 357 but it's now 355 diameter but I made the whole circle I popped it up on hologram and I just placed it where it needed to be because I kept I couldn't get them to line up it was very bad so now we have a perfect circle where it's exactly the same all the way around it's a big area it cuts through land um, where it cuts through lands, we're going to dig all that out, uh, make the walls high in those areas. Um, it's going to look, it's going to look really cool. Uh, check out this whole island pretty much, but it, it will. It's going to look pretty darn good as the wall will be higher in certain areas where it's not high on the map. So like on the opposite side, so it's going to look pretty good. Um, I do want to take a slight break from this not to burn myself out as we're going to be doing a lot of sand and sponging this area to get it uh drained and dug down so i do not want to burn myself out so i think we need to take a break and head oops head to the shopping district and start planning and building our shop so i gathered a few blocks here grabbed our stone cutter uh some wood some random things that we will need do that over there um actually get this shop down for our prisoners the, the, the prismarine shop so i am going to sleep and then we will go to the nether or fly over i don't know and We'll start the build. I'm actually excited to start bringing in the diamonds. So I came to the shopping district to build my shop, but I decided to do a quick little prank on our dear friend Klanik with a little help from Kirby.
So me and Kirby went all out from that little time lapse you've seen. We added a little bit more items. As you can see, we added this brick border or black border that says wall to protect random kids and minions. Because you know, Justin is going to wander in here and hurt himself on this construction site. So I had to make it clear. And we kind of put this right here just so he knows who it is. The construction workers were here, Kirby and CA2Z, so me. Uh, in the video, we put, couldn't really tell, but we added a little uh, sitting area in there, which is kind of cool. And we also added a cute little sign over here that says, it's going down, we're going timber. Just a little funny uh, song reference. So, can't wait till he sees this. I'm just gonna love his reaction. Just can't wait. So, while Justin's shopping in there, I'm actually gonna start working on my build. I'm thinking of doing it, oh, we already got some markers. More like a same style we are doing with our shop. So build a circle dig it down have water flowing in it and place your chest that way so so far i have this i put some stairs water easy in and out uh it did change up the layout down here as you can see the injury chest is a little forward i need to go to justin to borrow a silk touch pick so i can bounce it back oh well, yeah, bounce it back a bit, or actually, I don't know what I'm going to plan to do, but it's not going there, so I need to borrow that pick. And then I need to bring some life in down here, maybe an oxalotl or two, and some seagrass, maybe? This is the shop. So we put up a wall here, put a little bit of whatever those things are called again. <laughs> Uh, I just went over to what there was up here at the entrance to the nether portal and bone mealed them up and got some for that. I bone mealed a little bit down here, uh, just in three spots because I didn't want too much. I still might go down and do a little bit of breaking just so it feels more scattered than uh, all piled up like in those certain spots. Um, I do need to fill these chests. I have not went and got any axolotls, if I do get any, that would be amazing, so I do have to go on a hunt for them, and actually, I need to put a chest here for the fish, I forgot that we get fish, so I do need to put that chest, so let me actually go get the last bit of stuff, fill this up, and we'll have a working shop, making money, for, for diving making diamonds money finally I love it it I mean it does hit towards what my base will look like eventually I just love it so I got all of our emeralds so what that will be is let's see one diamond per three stacks since they're uncooked we're just gonna do one diamond per three stacks and for our regular prismarine, we are going to do two diamonds per stack. Our sea lanterns, we are going to do four diamonds per stack. And our prismarine bricks, we are going to do three diamonds per stack. Um, I'm basing this off of what Justin did in one season with his prismarine shop. So kind of close with his um prices in there but not over kind of under his prices but i think this is actually a good price point to start our shop with now i did put right over here atlantis enterprises as our build is going to be pretty much atlantis we're calling it atlantis so all of our shops will be called atlantis enterprises and underneath will have what it is called so i am kind of in love with the shop it is looking good um, i might add some more i didn't have any luck finding 
any oxalatos for the bottom, but that will change. We will get some very, very soon. And with that being said, as always, y'all, stay crafty.